the urban development around Makkah is terrifying. Okay. It's terrifying to me to see that. The, the Abraj al-Bayt Tower, mm. clock tower that was built, some of it is so extensive uh, and the, the kind of, in a way, almost wholesale erasure of some of the, the fabric of Makkah is, um, is very sad. Actually, it's very sad. Your travels and from the masajid that you've visited over various Muslim cultures, uh, you've probably seen a lot of beauty in the masajid. Yeah, but sometimes, you know, there was this period in the West <laughs> where we were told to strip all beauty from the mosque. It just needs to be a square box. Absolutely. And you come in and that's it. Is that because just modern day architects have given up um, spiritual expressions, uh, trading it for just, you know, functional... Uh, um, uh, or material uh, innovation. Or, yeah, exactly, right, like that. yeah. Uh, I think that um, there is, or there was at least, an attention to craft mm -hmm. and to the care uh, of, of assembly, uh, that a masjid was more than just bricks and mortar and, uh, and matter, it was... It was it was something that was a catalyst actually to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and as such it needed, you had to pay attention to it, it has to be as beautiful, as beautiful as it is possible to be made.